Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at string hashing. So we're going to see what string hashing is. We're going to look at a problem which can be solved using string hashing and we're going to move to the code. So first let's see what is string hashing. So string hashing is simply a efficient, it's an efficient method of comparing two strings. So suppose I have a string A and I have a string B. So if I want to compare string A and B, then normally by comparing each character of A with each character of B, it will take linear time with our time complexity as O of minimum of length of A and B. So this will give us a linear time complexity, but using string hashing, we can compare and see if two strings are equal or not in constant time. So how are we going to do that? So it's simple. I have a string A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this string into an integer value and I'm going to compare that integer value to the other strings integer value and that integer value will be called the hash. So, so for string A will have a hash of A and again which will be a number and for string B also will have a hash of B which will also be a number and integer. Then we can just simply compare hash of A and hash of B. So if hash of A is equal to hash of B we can say that they are equal and otherwise they are not equal. And the main thing we are going to be looking at is finding or comparing substrings with string hashing. So suppose I have a string A and I want to find if A of 0 to 4 is equal to A of 5 to 9 or not. So again we can do this using string hashing and how we can do that is we can find hash of from 0 to 4, so hash of A from 0 to 4 and find if that is equal to hash from 5 to 9 and if they are equal then we can say that the substrings are equal, the substrings are matching. So like I said, we're going to make our string into an integer value which will be the hash of that string. So how are we going to do that? So if I have a string A, then first thing what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, choose a number, a prime number and we'll call that P and we'll choose a mod uh, which we'll use for modulus and we'll choose that as a large number. So right now we can choose P as 331 or we can, you can choose anything, 31 will work, 331 or anything, it should be prime. And for mod, you can take any big number. So here, I'll take the normal uh, modulus which we use, which is 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Now what we're going to do for converting the string into an integer value, we're going to take A of 0 and we're going to uh, keep that as it is. And we're going to take A of 1 and we're going to multiply that with P. Then we're going to take A of 2 and we're going to multiply that with P to the power 2. So what we're doing is a of i uh, into p to the power i and summation of that and again a of 3 into p to the power uh, 3 and we'll keep on doing this till, our, till we add all the characters of our string and then finally what we can do is we'll do the mod of that. So this will be nothing but the hash of our string. And for finding the substrings, what we can do is, if uh, I want to compare substrings, then what I can do is, if I want from L to R, so I want to check substrings from L to R, so I get, I want to get the hash from L to R. So hash of L to R will be, uh, this is just pseudocode, I'll get to the real code afterwards. So I'll, what it will be is, it will be hash of R plus 1 and minus hash of uh, L into power or P to the power R minus L plus 1 and modulo plus mod and the mod of whole thing. So plus mod and the mod of the whole thing. So this will be, this formula will give me hash of L comma R. And with this I can calculate for two substrings. So let's see the question or let's look at the problem. So the problem is Chef Shefina and their friendship. So uh, this was in May cook of 2020 tuition 2. So the problem states that in the problem states that we have a string S and we want to find how many ways can we retrieve t1 and t2 such that s is t1 plus t1 plus t2 plus t2. So the problem becomes 
how many ways can we partition the string into uh, t1 t1 t2 t2 or t1 t2 t3 t4 such that t1 t2 are equal t3 t4 are equal so i have a string s and it's given that it will be in the way t1 plus t1 plus t2 plus t2 so what we're going to do is we're going to have t1 we're going to have t2 we're going to have t3 we're going to have t4 then we're going to check if t1 uh, these are substrings t1 t2 t3 t4 are substrings we are going to check if t1 equal to t2 and t3 equal to t4 and if they are then the link trees are count so we are going to use string hashing for that problem so let's get the basic functions of string hashing so like i said we will be using the powers of p so like when i had written that yeah so we are using powers of p so what we are going to do is we are going to pre compute the powers of uh, p so we don't have to actually again and again find the powers so let's get down to the code so we'll have a function which will be int int get hash so this will give me the hash from l to r so it will be int l and int r and we're going to uh, take the mod so i'll just define that here so hashtag define mod as 10 to the power 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 7. And what we're going to do is first we're going to pre compute the powers of P. So uh, we'll just say this, and we'll have two uh, arrays, and arrays will be first will be hashes, and it will also have the size 10 to the power 5 plus 5, and powers. So hashes will be storing hash till. Uh, i hash of i uh, hashes of i will be storing the sum of hash or this sum till i this sum which i wrote earlier and powers will be storing the powers of p so this will be 1 1 2 3 4 5 that one zero okay so we have hashes in which we are going to pre compute the hash and then we have powers so in powers we are going to pre compute the powers of p so powers of i is going to contain the ith power of p. So let's uh, pre-compute the powers. So powers of 0 will be 1 because the ith, the 0th power of p will be 1. And then we can calculate the rest of the powers. So i is equal to 1 and i less than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 can take something like this and i plus 1. So powers of uh, i will be powers of i minus 1 into p as we're calculating the powers of p and then the modulo and mod so with this we've calculated our powers of t now we take in the test cases and work on the strings given so while while t minus minus now again in the problem it's given that s is in the form t1 plus t1 plus t2 plus t2 so we want to find t1 and t2 and the num we want to find the number of ways we can uh, retrieve t1 and t2 so what we're going to do what the idea is we're going to break the string into substring t1 t2 t3 and t4 and then we're going to see if t1 equals to t2 and t3 equals to t4 so we're going to iterate over all the even indices so i being an even index i being an even index so 0 to i will break into t1 uh, t1 and t2 in equal lengths and i uh, i to n will break into t3 and t4 so t1 and t2 are equal length t3 and t, t3 and t4 are equal length and then we'll compare and see if t1 t2 and t3 t4 are equal to equal or not so in this we're going to work on each string so we're going to take the string so string s t n s and then we're going to pre-compute the hash so n this uh, first find the length now we need to pre-compute the hash so for that int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus 1 so hashes of uh, i plus 1 will be hashes of uh, i into uh, the number chosen p plus s of i the i get letter then again mod now with this will be able to calculate the hash with this we have hashes function now populated hashes array now populated and that the, with this we can use the get hash function 
So hashes of i plus 1 is hashes of i into the number, the prime number chosen plus s of i and then the mod. Now, we'll have count is equal to 0 and then we can go into the problem. So i is equal to, we'll, as I said, we'll have i on all the even indices. So i is equal to n minus 2 and i is equal to i plus 2 as we want only the even indices. And now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to divide the strings into t1, t2, t3, t4. So L1 will be from uh, L1 will be 0, R1 will be i by 2 minus 1 and int L2 will be R1 plus 1 and uh, R2 will be i minus 1. Then int L3 will be from i to uh, i to r3 is equal to i plus n by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 and then int l4 will be r3 plus 1 to r4 is equal to n minus 1 so what we did is from 0 to i we broke it into t1 this is t1 and uh, into t2 and then i to n, we broke that into t3 and t4 of equal length. So this is t4. So t1 is uh, 0 to i by 2 minus 1. And t2 is r1 plus 1 to i minus 1. t3 is i to i plus n by 2 minus 1. And the, the last part is t4, which is r3 plus 1 to n minus 1. Now, uh, we can just calculate using the LNR of the string. So if get hash of L1 comma R1 is equal to get, uh, get hash of L2 comma R2 and get hash of L3 comma R3 is equal to get uh, is equal to get hash of L4 comma R4. So if that then we found a way to divide. So we have found a way to retrieve t1 and t2. So and then we can just finally say the answer. Uh, and then we can just simply say count and line. And then we have to make our get hash function. And the formula for that, like I said, is uh, let's just skip this page. Is hashes of r plus one the upper value minus uh, and in the bracket hash hashes of uh, L into uh, the power of P R minus L plus 1 of uh, mod and then plus mod and then the mod of all that. So the form so the formula is hashes of R plus 1 minus hashes of L into powers of R minus L plus 1 and then the mod of that plus mod and this is like this. Yeah. And then finally the mod of this whole. I'm missing a bracket. And one more bracket. The mod of everything. So this is the final formula with which we have we are converting our substring into a number and we didn't dig, and this is r4 this is not r3 so let's just compile it and let's try to run it against the test cases so these are the test cases so we're getting the output correctly and then we'll submit it i'll give a link to the code you can check it So this is how we use string hashing to compare substrings into constant time. So what we did is we pre-computed the powers and then we pre-computed the hash for a string and then we used the hash get hash function to convert the substring into a number and then we can compare two strings by two substrings by their hash number. 
So that's all. Thank you.